Hi everyone, I'm Tamira Thane, founder of Who Chains You Publishing and the author of The Wrath of Dog. This is a brand new young adult paranormal uh, novel that I've written. It's my first novel, so I thought I would do a short reading for you all. And if you're interested, uh, there's a link in the uh, explanation where you can click if you want to read more and uh, see how you can buy it. So it's called The Wrath of Dog. This is the actual cover, but the uh, the live feed flips it. So I put this on here so you could see it right. Okay. So this is young adult. It's like 10th grade and up, but I like to read this kind of stuff. So it's what I wanted to write. And because my background is in dog chaining, I wanted to write a novel about uh, so it's centering around dog chaining. So it's hopefully interesting. Chapter 1, Wrath. The hairy beast growled and lunged at me, his rusted logging chain straining to break. Like it did every morning, I cut down his back alley. I need to find another way to school, I grumbled to myself, heart pounding as I looked away and shuffled past him. No reason to deliberately provoke the wrath of dog, my oh-so-aptly dubbed title for him. Truth be told, I pitied the thing. What kind of asshat chains their dog outside, I furthered my inner rant. At the age of 17 and a half, thank you very much, I already had a heart for the animals, a trait pounded into my head by my bleeding heart mother from the time I could walk. I could go on and on about dogs and chaining. Mom's monologue was just that stuck in my brain. Dogs deserve better than life on a chain, she'd fume and fuss each time we passed a dog like Wrath. Yeah, Mom, I get it. Someday I'll free Wrath and will rise up and smite his nasty-ass owner. For today, though, I just need to get past him without dying and make it the two blocks to class before the bell rings and I have another detention heading my way. Sometimes it sucked to be me. But never as much as it sucks to be wrath, my do-gooder conscience, sounding suspiciously like my mother, reminded me, Gah! Where was a dog biscuit when you needed one? With one last glance to make sure the chain was holding, I took off at a run through the remnants of yesterday's skiff of snow and up the doors of the high school. Wrath's plight was soon forgotten. Bay! The cheery scream echoed down the corridor. I cringed, my introvert soul longing to slink away unnoticed. But my Leo best friend would have none of that as long as she was still kicking above ground and had any air left in her lungs to bellow. My exact opposite in every way, Amaya was short to my tall, loud to my quiet, and blonde to my brunette. She was curvaceous, cute, and sassy, whereas I was willowy and somber with more of a girl-next-door thing going for me. Lucky me. We shared a love of snark, all things fur-covered, and a devotion to each other that went beyond the high school best friendships that were here one day, gone the next. I did adore her, but maybe not today. Today I wanted to turn and flee as all eyes in the crowded first, pre-first period hallway swept my way. Amaya, what in all holy Hades? I grabbed her arm and steered her in the direction of the biology classroom. Why can't I sidle into class even one day without all the drama fest, I complained rolling my eyes skyward and silently begging for a little understanding of my simplistic hide-under-a-rock personality. Um, because I'm me, and I consider it my solemn duty to haul you out from under your bad hairdo and don't look at me clothes and integrate you into society, little Miss Scaredy Cat. Amaya smirked and flung her blonde mane over my shoulder, over her shoulder. Then she lowered her voice. Speaking of cats, did you remember that old lady Dotson has us dissecting a cat in biology this morning? What? I shrieked. Oh, hails to the no. I might be shy and definitely not a wave maker, but if you are messing with an animal, look out. The gloves come off. I straightened, my inner warrior clawing to the surface. Dragging a mile behind me, I marched straight through the classroom door and up to Miss Dodson's desk, demanding to know if this was true. Do you really expect us to skin a cat in lab today? A cat? The very same companion animal living in millions of homes across America? The same pet curled up on my bed at this very moment and calling himself Boo-Boo? Please tell me it ain't so. I was so ticked and incredulous I was babbling and quaking in my boots, literally. I was rocking to and fro in my faux leather Doc Martin knockoffs, which today I thought I'd smartly teamed with my favorite pair of worn skinny jeans. I realized I probably looked ridiculous making a scene in front of the whole class. Fists clenched, steam rolling out my ears, and still sporting the green, ugly winter jacket my mother forced upon my personage this morning. Great, I could have at least stopped by my locker before taking on the world. 
So that's just a little sneak peek at the book. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happens. Basically, The Wrath of Dog is a lot more than Bailey bargained for. So uh, if you're interested to know just what's going on with Wrath and the uh, cats in the dissection lab, give it a, give it a look-see. On uh, Click on the link. It's on Amazon, Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, and you can even get a signed copy if you want. All right? Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye.